Friday. Oh. <laughs> happy Friday, happy TED. It's, uh, it's very cool to be here um, as part of this wonderful event. And as was mentioned, I, I came from quite a long way, ago, a way away on a bike and a kayak, so I'm super happy to be here and have made it safely. I'm currently on a bid to loop the planet using human power, rowing across the oceans, cycling across the continents, and kayaking the little bits of blue in between. And my manifesto tonight is to encourage you all to be more adventurous, to take on whatever challenge it is that you might want to take on in your life, and encourage your students and those around you to do the same as well. I came across through Europe and Asia, and in Asia I found the best story uh, of the journey so far. And I'd like to introduce that story with a short video. This is a moment I thought would never happen. We've just landed in Beijing. Really sad it's the end of the Gao era. I think we're going to have BGAG before Gao after Gao. Great effort from him today, 198 kilometers. Uh, drive to Urumqi and I saw you and uh, my, br my brother said to me if you dare to come with her and ride to Beijing I give you the money yeah I said why not just do it <laughs> crazy It's hard, but when you finish this travel, you think, think your past is not very hard enough. It's, it's a kind of the happiness. So one month, I'm just past soon to quit. Swinger, make a friend. The first day you just knew it, you should, you should learn to it. You should know it and uh, you should get him to know you. That is the first day I gave his name, Stranger. I learned, I learned how to fix the problems. So now, we get an older friend. It's not good, really. He's not the best, but he's good. Yeah, of course. But not run by. I just think of this. Fly, fly to Beijing, my ticket is easy. If you want to do something, just do it. Don't worry about anything, just do it. It's a three world. I am happiness. <laughs> happiness. I can just can use this word, happiness. <laughs> My heart just fills with pride watching that video about what he did. Uh, just to reiterate, um, we met at the start of China. I'd been there a few days. I'd been on the road for three and a bit months at that point. Pretty in the groove, enjoying it, adventures and so on. He came across me in a petrol station and said, Wow, Sugoi, <laughs> I love what you're doing, but it looks so difficult. And I said, Well, it's tricky sometimes, but it's, it's just a bike and you just ride, and the tricky stuff makes the good stuff really rich and exciting. And he said, OK, cool. And off he went. Ten minutes later, I'd cycled off down the road, and Gao appears. He jumps out of his car. Stop, 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 stop. I want to come to Beijing with you. And we chatted, and I described the fact there's a Gobi Desert in the way. We might die, la 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 la. Uh, no problem, said Gao. It's OK. I can buy a bike. Like, dude, you don't even have a bike. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought, this guy has balls. <laughs> He's got guts. I should give him a chance. People have given me a chance. And I know the value of adventure and challenge um, and everything you gain from it, discovery, learning new things every day, when you overcome the, the most rubbish times and you come out the other side still fighting, you're stronger. And 
your eyes are just open to the world. So I thought, okay, come along. But I didn't think he'd last. I mean, <laughs> it's quite cool. He rocks up with his new bike and his no hair and a massive Chinese flag. <laughs> and, and off we went. And I didn't think we would make it to Beijing together, if I'm honest. But I thought, you know, he'll have a fun time. That's cool. I'll ring up his brother and he can go home after a couple of days. He'll have had his adventure. See, three days in, um, his bike panniers fell apart. They literally fell apart. His, all this stuff fell out. And uh, he said, no problem, Sarah. Don't worry. And he got out a massive roll of sticky tape and taped the whole thing back together. <laughs> and every day we had punctures and all sorts. Um, he lost his tent poles on the first night. So whenever we wanted to sleep in tents, he didn't sleep in a tent. All of these things happened. But each time he would deal with the problem. We'd find a solution. In his head, there was nothing going to stand in his way in getting him to Beijing. And you've got to salute that. So after 35 days and quite a few thousand kilometers, we, we rocked up in Beijing. And it, it was like a boy had turned into a man. It was so exciting. Uh, and, and those words at the end, they said, you know, I'm happiness. And every day, you just overcome the problems, you overcome the challenges. Geez, it was inspiring for me. And it, it made me think, uh, adventure is, is a great way to learn. Adventure is a great way to, to grow, to inspire people, to engage. And adventures don't have to be crazy mad bike rides across deserts and so on. I think adventure is about how you look at the world, doing something a bit differently, doing something you haven't done before, doing it with that idea that whatever happens, you'll find a way through it. It's all about the unknown and going for it. And so the, the thing I'm going to leave you guys with is the ABC of challenge. That's what I took from Gao, and what I take from my adventures. No challenge is too big if you can fight it with these three things. I think number one is attitude. Attitude's how you look at a situation, how you look at a problem. If you're like Gao, you get a problem and you just find a way to charge through it to the other side. I think that's the one thing that you can control whatever the challenge, whatever the adventure. The other one is belief. I think belief is something that we all struggle with at times, at different points in our lives, less or more. And I think it can be a real danger. So just having that belief, yeah, I can do that. That's such a powerful thing. I think you can be your own worst enemy, but you can also be your own best teammate just by having belief. And the final one of my ABC of challenge, any challenge you like, is courage. I think courage comes in lots of different ways. I reckon if I ask you guys here tonight who thinks they're brave, I don't think anyone would put their hand up unless we have anyone in the audience under the age of 10. Okay? <laughs> what happens? What happens from going to little people through to being an adult that means we don't think we're brave? Yet if I say to you guys, who has been scared at some point in their life before? We can put two hands up, probably some feet. We all get scared. And then if I say, well, who's done something, even though they've been scared, you know, in spite of being scared, you've still had to do whatever it is. Well, probably everyone can put their hands up. So therefore, joining up the dots, that makes us all brave. And I think the story that I took from Gao about bravery is that courage just to start. Make that leap of faith and go for it. I think too many of us don't do things because we're scared. We're scared of the unknown. We're scared of what might happen. We're scared that we might fail. But really, failure gives us the best lessons anyway. And so I think having that courage just to go for it and then the courage to keep on going, just gently keep on going to get yourself through to the other side of whatever your mountain is, that's a really valuable thing too. So... My plea to you guys is remember the ABC of challenge and be like Gao. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Sarah. That was awesome.